Hello, welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today is Mixed Media Friday, and mainly is just using a mixed media notebook. I bought this from Walmart. It's Art Street. It's less than three bucks. And uh, the last couple Fridays we've been using it. <coughs> and my compression to it and cans and mixed media is not my I mean to me they feel the same they react about the same now I can tell the difference between the mixed media and master touch from Hobby Lobby it's more like it's a heavier paper and it's got feels more like watercolor paper than mixed media that I've dealt with so you know why you well, yards, the price, you know, you can get the mixed media pad from Hobby Lobby, six ninety nine, and you, every other week it's fifty percent off. So, with that being said, you know, it depends on what you like. I am using number sixteen flat brush, and first of all, we're gonna do our background, and I am using pretty excellent paints. I do love these paints for the price and all. Um, I received them a couple weeks ago and I like the vi vibrant colors of them and all. And, uh, but we are going to do a deer on a mountain today and it's the deer in the mountain is just blacked out. So but first of all, we're going to start with our background, and Tootie's having a fit for some odd reason. So we're going to start with um, <coughs> Cadmium Yellow Hue, the best. So, and just going to paint down so far. We're going to use about four different corners in this. Now, I'm not even going to change the corner of my paint, and then I'm going to use the um, yellow orange. Now, I want that a little bit darker. So, I'm going to just grab a little bit of cat orange with that. And then I'm going to grab. Uh, let's see. Crantium Lake Deep. And like I said, I'm not really rinsing my brush off. Probably need to. But I'm just trying to make this go by fast. And get some of the other corners. Just mix it all in. And then, let's use a um, violet to kind of, and you don't want a whole lot. And now, ultramarine blue. Let me see if I can. And my arm just got in that. But it'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Most of that's come back. I'll just go. Okay. Now we got the background in. And I'm going to dry it with the heat gun.
Okay, sorry about that. And then we're going to draw our image onto our paper. And I'm not, I'm not with moving to, and I'll be right back because I got five piece of Okay, it doesn't matter how dark you draw this on because we are going to use a black Sharpie to color this in. Or you can use black paint, whichever one you want. I find it's easier to do with the black Sharpie. But I'm going to tr just trace my drone. And that's why it's called mixed media, folks. Using two or three different types of medium when you're painting. And I like to use mixed media. Uh, you can do this with ink pads and cotton balls. Also, I mean, and your Sharpie. I mean, you can use about anything. Crayons, colored pencils. I mean, yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer. Just make sure it traced. I don't mind it traced too good. So, do y'all have big plans for the weekend? My plan is to stay out of the hospital this weekend. <coughs> my plan, but that's my plan for every weekend. Seems like I've been in the hospital the last couple months on the weekend. And I'm using just an ultra fine Sharpie to trace it, to outline it, and then I'm going to go back in with the fine point. You can use um, Spectrinors, you can use um, Copics, whatever you have on hand that is prominent marker. I mean, I have the, the Spectre Norms. I just... They all out on my desk. I mean, they handy to grab. And then I'm just going to color this in real quickly. And like I said, you can do, do this with black paint also. But I'm... I'm just showing what can be done. I mean, I've, I've done one with the black paint. It came out good. I'm doing it this way too. Playing. Y'all just, just don't see all the stuff I do behind the scenes. <laughs> Trying to get get it like I want it before I bring it to y'all. Um, we um, it's it's cold off here in Arkansas. We finally got fall with them. Although I'm sitting out here in the craft room in warm ups, but I don't have no heat on. I got the door open, so that says anything. It's not cold, cold, but it ain't hot, hot. But, so, who's getting ready for Christmas already? I'm not. I don't know if I'm even making anything this year for Christmas for anybody. Probably not. I didn't last year because I didn't feel good. So. Yeah. 
like I said, this is just, it's, it's a little bit time consuming because it's coloring with a fine, fine tail. Mm. Whose husband's your hunt? I know. Where am I now? My, my, folk, my family does. I know it's your season here, here in Arkansas. Mother Loden and Bo. Grabbed a pectoral. See if I can do this. My pectoral is just about dried up, folks. That's why I don't use them a lot. So we're just gonna call her this real quick. Yeah, yes, I skip around. Now, I did a review on these uh, excellent, pretty excellent paints. Um, I will link it at the end of this video where you can watch it. Like I said, I do like them. I would buy them if I had, if I needed to. If I didn't have, I mean, they are good. I am no expert on watercolor paints by no means, and I don't say I am. I know what I like, and that's all I can tell you. Um, but um, the only thing I don't like about it is the watercolor, the water brush. I cannot open it. It may be because I'm weak, but I don't think so because I twisted it nearly all the way around trying to open it. Um. Other than that, I like the vibrant of them, the whole nine yards, and uh, I will be using them more on my videos, I'm sure of it, but I do like them because that's my go-to now. I do still like my Master Touch, and I mean, the ones I do have, I do like, but sometimes, you know, you got to go out of your comfort zone and use other products I have found you know I like using other products as just the same ones all the time but I still like my st my standbys I still like my ink pads you can use ink pads with watercolor paints um, that's what got me into watercolor, even just using my ink pads years ago, uh, probably 10, 15 years ago now. So, and I dropped it and kind of left it and came back to it. Okay, to sign it, I'm going to take a very thin brush. Wet it, and I'm gonna use white. And I mean, I'm gonna have to put a lot of paint on this, and I'm just gonna sign it, Angie. 
And if y'all don't know, that's what I sign about all my artwork with is just Angie. Some people says you need to put your whole name on I don't want my whole name on it. And I put the date on the month and the year. And that's all I do. Because if I go back five years from now, I want to know when I did it, you know. Okay. And we are done. I'm going to... And I've had this on for a few days because I was going to do it last week and well, a few days ago. And But if <coughs> you ain't seen my last video or my blog post, I was in the hospital on the first weekend of this month with a major, major nosebleed. And uh, they had to put a vent down my throat to make for me to breathe and all. Well, that made me a sore throat, and so I didn't feel, I ain't felt good since. But I'm trying to keep up and do a few videos every week, even though I don't feel good. Maybe one of these days, I feel like I take one step forward and a hundred step back. Last few months, so we have our. Mixed media painting done. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us. And I'll catch y'all next Friday. Have a blast week. Have a blast weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.